Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to tell you how to create dynamic reference line in wave analytics. So we are going to cover wave analytics binding and let me tell you the requirement first of all. So my requirement is as you know that in wave analytics on a dashboard we can add charts and in charts we can add reference line so that reference line is static so i would like to make it dynamic based on certain selections or if the reference line should be dependent on another step so let's see how to create a dynamic reference line in wave analytics and in order to do that you should have a developers account like as i have developers account for wave and i'm going to create a new dashboard so i create a new dashboard and drag and drop a widget and i'm going to connect it with my financial data with my and sum by revenue and group by product name and instead of sum let's take it as average by revenue so this is showing average revenue click on done and the very first thing i'm doing is i'm going to get rid of this legend so i just change the properties and uncheck legends average of revenue and instead of that i set the title as revenue and i don't want to show the title on x axis on x axis top and i don't want to show the title for sale and same for y axis i don't want to show the title now there's a property in charts that we can add a reference line and i'm going to add a reference line so let's suppose i put a reference line at the value 1000 and i change the color as red so the requirement is dynamic dynamically need to change this reference line and also let's add one label as target or let's say average line average reference line now the requirement is this reference line should need to be updated it need to be reflected based on another step and for doing that let's create another step using the same data set and also i would be using the same measures average revenue now the total average revenue is 8775 that is 8.8k and the requirement is that this reference line should be dependent on the average coming from this revenue step so that's the step we created just now which is only showing the average of revenue there is no grouping into it now the next thing is we are going to custom we are going to customize the reference line we need to we need to customize do the customizations into json so for that press ctrl e once i press ctrl e uh, we can see we have a one step that is a revenue and product one more thing i'm going to do with this step is i will sort this in descending order now why i sort this in descending order let me show you once i once i sort this in descending order and if i press ctrl e you can see a new a new field has been added named as order revenue so that's the order a average underscore revenue and this field we are going to use to get the value to get the input into another widget for changing the reference line so in order to do that uh, i will switch to i will search for reference line so i'll search for average reference line and you see the default value is set as thousand let's assume that if i set the value as five thousand if i'm making changes in json it will reflect over here as well so uh, I will get rid of it and instead of this I would be we would be getting the input from we would be we would be extracting the value from step the uh, the step name is 
the step name is revenue so and in this revenue step we have a field called average revenue that we are going to pass here so in order to do that i start with double quotes double brackets let me increase the font size double brackets i start with column dot as object and it's a function so it would be whatever value it would be extracting that result that value would be converted it pass into as an object and from the step name and the step name is revenue underscore one so i search for revenue underscore one so this revenue underscore one i copy this and pass it here comma to get the input dot now here we are not going to use value we are going to capture we are not going to make any selections the uh, the value is already there we only want to get the result so i use result and here i will pass the variable the the name of the variable so that variable name is revenue underscore one and uh, average under that's the field name which we are going to pass so average reference and here i paste it uh, it's giving an error so it says expected comma instead of this so we need to make sure that there would be no error so that's the issue uh this bracket this should be added and you see the error has been removed now as i have mentioned in means as i have shown you that in revenue underscore one step the value was 8775 so the same value whatever the result was there so it will extract it will extract the result from this revenue underscore one step and that was the field which would be passing the value to this particular reference line and this reference line will be displayed at that particular position so let's click on done and check the result so i click on done and uh, right so you can see the reference line has been moved from the default value to the result we have and to know more about it that at what value this reference line is adding so what we can do is i simply drag and drop a number widget and drop revenue onto it the step we created and it is saying the the value the average revenue is 8775 so this line has been moved from 2000 or whatever 1000 we gave earlier it moves to 8775 so i did this by depending value on a on, on another step we can create some we can create a list and based on the selections in the list we can change the reference line so this is how we can create a dynamic reference line on a widget in wave analytics so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can post your comments if you like our video don't forget to press the like button keep watching have a nice day goodbye